Hey, I Chris. I saw you from distance. Uh -huh. You're not going to want to hear this. Uh-oh. You look a lot like Speaker Rondon. Ah! <laughs> I'm here with Chris Robeson, and uh, you just got elected last night. Tell me your position. It's the uh, executive vice president of the California Democratic Council, which is the network of progressive Democratic clubs. We're working with Blue Revolution California. Blue Revolution California. And what we're trying to do is make reforms happen within the party. A big problem uh, in last year's convention with the Kimberly Ellis nomination yeah. was that the progressives thought that they had taken over the party, but then there's actually super delegates to on the on the state level. Can you talk about that? We absolutely can. Uh, one of the things we want to do is we want to eliminate the fact that super delegates are representing are representing the electeds, which is okay. They need to be elected. They need to be they need to be at the table, but they don't need to be controlling. Okay, so we have like 65 super delegates which was the margin of victory for Mr. Bauman. Very not suspicious. And so is there anything a group like yours could do to fight back? It's like the Democratic Party is doing everything it can, again, to rig the system against progressives. It's right. happening all over, not only with uh, Stephen Jaffe and Nancy Pelosi, right. but that similar thing is happening all over. Is there anything you can do? Yeah, the main thing we can do is we can focus light on it. Uh, in a few minutes, uh, uh, faux chairman Bau Bauman is going to be served on the uh, 8063 issue. Okay, that's the rundown where he packed. He actually got the party to release the list of people who had, uh, had voted and their contact information. He and his staff contacted them, got two of them to change their vote. Totally illegal. Right. Totally illegal. Right. There's no process in place no, to do that. No, no. So basically what we're doing is we're shining light on these um, reprehensible policies, and we're doing, as I just handed you, about 11 rules changes. One of them is to take the CRC, which is the Compliance Review Commission, which is now appointed solely by the chair, or the faux chair, in our case, and basically that's undemocratic. We want those that committee appointed by the delegates. I imagine everybody in this... this um this convention agrees the United States of America has the greatest template that exists today relative to uh, representative government. But then the California Democratic Party doesn't reflect that template. At all, right? That's a big... At all. So I was just telling him, that, that, so th these are the solutions to those problems, like what's happening with Stephen Jaffe and other people around. Exactly. We want to eliminate the automatic endorsement of incumbents, for instance. Yeah. So make them, make them come to us and have a performance review once every two years. That's our job is to do the endorsement of, of all candidates. And so that role has been taken away from us. And so I think it's pretty clear to people, especially even on the state level now, how the party's rigging these primaries, we are talking about automatic endorsements, even when Stephen Jaffe gets the, they just keep moving the goalposts on people. Oh, you got 37 votes? We gotta get 38. Oh, two people? We got them to resign. So that, those, these are the things that are coming to light right now. And when we file a challenge, and then when it's appealed, the, rule, the rulings are made by people who are appointed by the chair. Right. So it's always gonna go in the favor of the chair. And that's why we wanna have this panel be able to be more objective by being elected by us. We've had two rules changes that have already been accepted, and then... Which, which were those? Uh, one was removing the poll tax at the ADEM elections. You, to go vote with the ADEMs, you weren't necessarily required, but you were asked to pay $5 to come in and vote. We had that removed. And the other one was incumbents needed 50% uh, of the vote in order to obtain an endorsement, whereas challengers were required to get 60%. We had it changed so that all candidates need to get 60% of the vote in order to earn the endorsement of the California Democratic Party. Okay, those are two big rule changes. Well, congratulations. Thanks for doing the work you do, and everybody check out their Facebook page, Blue Revolution.